The Princess of Wales currently has an uphill battle as she receives treatment for her cancer. But the good news in this trying time, she and her Wales family found solace, strength, and an unwavering support from an unexpected but steadfast source in the Tyndalls. Mike and Zara Tyndale will be on hand to hold the firm together as the princess has revealed she will be undergoing the next preventative chemotherapy. As the parents of three, like Catherine and William, they will hopefully be a support to their young cousins George, Charlotte, and Louis at this time. The Wales family joined forces with the Tyndales, and their children were recently spotted enjoying a family day out in the park near their home in Norfolk. We all love to see what the royal kids can do on occasions when they're not in school. The royal children will be able to follow their parents on trips to an entertainment venue near home, which is why these candid shots of the Prince and Princess of Wales enjoying a day out with their children and the Tyndales were some of our favorite royal snaps. They are very much the glue of their generation of royals and bring a fun to the family gathering no matter how serious the occasion. While some family members can't be very royal, Mike is just himself and is relaxed and playful with George, Charlotte, and Louis. Photos show the Princess of Wales giving Princess Charlotte a piggyback ride, while Mia Tyndale's playful grab for Prince William's ear adds a delightful touch to their interactions. The bond between the four royal cousins, including Mia and George, is a testament to the close-knit nature of the royal family. Zara Tyndale has revealed a secret competition between her two daughters, Mia and Lena, and Prince William's two elder children, George and Charlotte. We often hang out and our kids play with their kids in the competition we have, the former rugby player said. Speaking of the competitive little ones, Mike added, I think our families are fairly competitive. He then jokingly added that his eldest daughter doesn't like losing, whilst adding that Lena is getting old enough to start pushing Mia because there's a lot of gap. The proud father of three then discussed their son Lucas. Then Lucas is going to be even worse because he's going to be trying to play catch-up all the time. It's definitely in there. Mia and Prince Louis, who is the Prince and Princess of Wales' youngest child, were spotted holding hands during the annual Christmas Day walk last year. Mia showcased her close bond with Louis with their sweet displays delighting fans. Similarly, Uncle Mike's affectionate gestures, particularly his public display of affection with Prince George, the visible unity and blending of William and Catherine's family with Zara and Mike's has become a testament to the strength of their bonds. Horse trials in Norfolk reflect deep in their friendship. The close relationship extends beyond public appearances as the royal cousins maintain a WhatsApp group. This group serves as a platform for exchanging messages about upcoming events and family news, highlighting the modern and familial aspects of their connections in a world that often emphasizes formality. The warmth and count camaraderie between William and Mike, as well as their families, offering a refreshing glimpse into the more personal side of royal life. During the Platinum Pageant, the accumulating event of the four-day Platinum Jubilee celebrations, the Wales family, along with other royals, attended the festivities. A heartwarming video captured a special moment between the Princess of Wales and Zara Tyndale's eight-year-old daughter. Mia, in the midst of managing her youngest son, Prince Louis, Catherine demonstrated her innate kindness and maternal instincts. The princess took a moment to comfort Mia, who had climbed over to her seat seeking a cuddle. The touching video captures Catherine stroking Mia's arm gently, straightening her hair, and whispering something comforting in her ear.